Aloha YouTubers, Doom143 back at again with another comic haul. Um, man, I'm going to tell you right now, this is probably going to be my most recent, I, uh, my most favorite comic haul that I've that I'm gonna put together in, in a long time. Um, I got so many stuff from so different, gen different genres, different uh, years, uh, Silver Age. I got some new stuff, of course. Um, I picked up a major key. You're looking at it right there in front of you. Um, finally picked it up. Uh, did a really good, I got a really good price on it. Uh, I've been wanting it for a while. Always had on my my list and uh, very happy to knock it off my list. Um, man, I did so much this past week as far as like YouTube and just it's been hectic at work. So YouTube has kind of just been my escape and um, not just making the videos, but just watching everybody's videos. And, um, you know, I, I, I just got to say one thing, man, this community that we have. Um, whether it's Golden Car Comics, Big E's, uh, Freddy's 562, um, you know, it just goes on and on. Howler Mouse, um, Jimmy C, uh, Longboard Shank, um, you know, the, the list goes on. This community is just super, I don't like to swear on uh, YouTube, but because you know might have kids because I talk a lot about comics of course but uh, this is a super badass community man I mean it is so it's so awesome and um, I'm gonna call this here my Punisher my SB triple A okay um, that's what I'm gonna call it it's my super badass awesome act of kindness man um, th this came from uh, Freddy's um awesome youtuber um he's going through some stuff right now uh i'm not too sure of the situation i guess there's a fire close to his house um hope everything's okay with him and his family um reach out to me freddy's if you need anything but seriously uh, i don't know what i can do here in hawaii but if you need anything you just let me know um email me or whatever it is bruh um, but that's this came from Freddy's. He is uh, like, I know you're trying to chase down ASM 129, which I did pick up um, maybe about a month ago, maybe three weeks ago. And uh, he just gave me that in, in the mail, um, this this Punisher thing. And um, this is now going to be a staple in my um, my videos. Not not so much for the Punisher part, but um, if you watch this video and going forward, this is going to be a reminder of how super badass this community is. Uh, you guys showed me so much aloha and uh, you guys been so kind. All my new subscribers, all my recent subscribers, you guys have just been um, not just a wealth of education. Um, you guys also have been uh, a source of just stress relief, you know, passing time, whatever it is, just... You guys have been really awesome, and I just want to say thank you to everybody. Uh, just so many names just pop up in my head. Um, but you guys know who you are. You guys always comment um, to me, and you guys have been really awesome. Um, I know Bear90X is going to like this one. <clears throat> but yeah, I picked this up, this Iron Fist. Let me get into my haul. Um, half of this haul actually is inspired by Big E's Comics. He, um, he just had a 500 subscriber contest. Again, congratulations, Big E's. Love your videos. I love the fact that you integrate you and your wife together. Um, you guys are doing this family thing. You're educating her, but at the same time, she seems to know quite a bit. So that's really cool. Um, it was inspired by Big E's. Um, and I'll get to it. I'll get to that part uh, in a little bit. But... So let's just go straight to the haul. I don't want to make this video too long. I know it's going to be long. Um, I hope you watch it. Hope you just don't fast forward through it because uh, I'm really proud of this haul. <laughs> like I just got so much stuff that I'm so proud of. Like I'm just so happy with this haul. So yeah, first of all, I got a key out of the way. Uh, Marvel Premier 15, first appearance of Iron Fist. Got that uh, picked up. Batman 635, the first appearance of... Um, Jason Todd as the Red Hood. Um, super sick cover. 
Uh, love this book. So glad to pick it up. Got this on my eBay. Very happy to have it. Um, yeah, it was a crazy week, man. I also went and did a Craigslist find, and uh, you guys can watch that. I have it on my on my YouTube channel. But yeah, so anyway, I also went to um, my local um, used bookstore that I love to go to, and um, I picked up just more of the silver books that I like, silver age books. Um, I picked up this. It's a Wonder Woman. Uh, this is number 159. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Uh, this one has like her secret origin story told. It has um, a lot of secrets about things being revealed about the Amazon and like the weapons, the strange gods. Uh, this is a DC first collector's item. It's just, I'm just happy to have it. For the guys that have been watching my videos, you know me, I love my modern books, but I really love the cover and the art from the Silver Age and the Golden Age. And I just really have, I guess now, a deeper appreciation for it. Uh, pick that up. I picked this one up. Wonder Woman um, 175. Just thought it was a cool book. Um, Wonder Woman versus her evil twin. Love the coloring, love the art on this. Just, I mean, that's really, I mean, I, I do read books, the modern stuff, but honestly, when it comes to the Silver Age stuff, I just go straight for the covers. I want to know who the artists are. I just love the art on these things. Um, I also picked up another um, All-Star Western. Um, what number is this? Number five. Special appearance of El Diablo. Um, I was looking at this on eBay just to, out of curiosity, just to see what people were posting about it. Sometimes I learn from eBay, like, you know, somebody will say first appearance of this or whatever. Supposedly this is a Neil Adams cover. I, I looked inside the book. I didn't see anything, but if it is, it's pretty cool. But um, yeah, so supposedly this is a Neil Adams cover. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, I picked this one up. Nothing big. I just picked it up because of the cover. I love the green suspector in the back. Uh, I just love the coloring. This is a new Aquaman thriller, weird adventure comics, uh, number 437 um just super sick art again love it the skull on the bottom sick ass barracuda um picked up this legion of superheroes i showed a lot of these and biggie's um comics when he had his 500 subscribers i didn't really talk about them it's just i was what they i brought them out more just to mention that um these are the kind of books that i've been chasing as far as like my favorite covers and stuff but yeah legion of superheroes this is actually a number one uh, you got Superboy in the front and just it's pretty awesome. I really love this cover. I love the yellow on it with the red. The red really pops off. Uh, it's just one of my more favorite colors, uh, covers that I just picked up recently. And I picked this one up for pretty cheap too. Uh, of course I went to my LCS and I uh, picked up um, my REIT. So yes, just to let you guys know I actually do read books. <laughs> so. I got in my Wicked and Divine. Uh, this one is number 22. I'm just gonna keep on reading this until they stop making it, man. I, I really like this. If you haven't read it, it's pretty awesome. Uh, God's coming down, being rock stars and all that stuff. It's a pretty good read. Uh, picked up my Web Warriors. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, but this is pretty cool. Um, Gwen Poole getting uh, choked out and stuff, but I haven't read this yet. I haven't read any of them. It's been, like I said, it's been a hectic week, working six days a week. And then on my day off, I literally just went and did this crazy Craigslist, um, this Craigslist buy that I had to do. I had like an hour and 50 minutes to look for like 70 books out of like 3,000 that he had. This Spider-Man Deadpool, this is a variant. I actually am getting the black and white one in very soon, but this is a colored variant. Um, this is actually a pretty good read so far. In this, there's also a, um, a new villain that's going to pop up. Why Black Panther on the cover? I don't know. Maybe I got to go and reread the book because I have no idea why Black Panther is on the cover. Um, but still yet, pretty sick variant. Picked it up. I picked it up because the original one that I read had a, um, a villain in it. And um, I figured, you know, I must have picked the variants because a lot of people spend more on the variants. I picked this one up and this will lead to the second part of my haul. So I picked this one up today as well. So this one is um, The Fallen One. This is a Jack Kirby 
um, variant. But um, yeah, this is this is a sick cover, man. I mean, this old school Hulk. I, I don't know if I can get better light on it, or whatever. Um, but yeah, this old school Hulk. I mean, this is really really sick. I just really like it. Um, I, I love seeing a classic character done but on like a modern paper and stuff um i was surprised that this wasn't sold out i mean i don't know i just maybe i'm just being biased because i like how the cover looked but when i went into my lcs they had like about six of them so i went there i found the most crispiest one i could find the, with the best edges no spine breaks anything i found the best one i could find i just took it home immediately went straight to my life <laughs> I didn't even read it, I didn't touch it, I didn't do nothing with it. I just put it straight, just because I love this cover so much. And that's what leads us to the second part of the haul. This book is actually a really good segue for it. Um, so Biggie's Comics, he had a 500, subscri 500 subscriber contest. And um, basically in that contest, he wanted to know what was your favorite covers. So I actually entered the contest and I showed some of the books that I had in my collection. That was part of my favorite covers and um so I, I showed those books and um i gotta be honest i wasn't really happy with what i showed because um i, I mentioned in the video that i really like todd mcfarland and jack kirby like i really love their art and stuff and so i you know i showed i think i showed some of it but i didn't show the ones that i like but what happened is that it kind of lit a fire under my ass to pick up more Jack Kirby and pick up more Todd Farley. And um, so I actually have to thank Biggie's Comics because for a while I wasn't just actually picking up stuff that I liked. I was picking up just, you know, things that I knew was valuable and stuff. But I, I'm trying to get back to my roots as far as like, what is the stuff that I love? And I really love the art that Jack Kirby and Todd McFarlane does. So I just wanted to go and i started digging and i started buying again and i'm very proud to say i picked up some new stuff so i've already had this one the commandy but just to show you guys the kind of stuff that i like that comes out of jack kirby um new gods number seven first appearance of steppenwolf and of course sandman um number one this is um first appearance of the sandman so i picked those one up so to add to my jack kirby collection uh, I picked up a couple books that I'm very, I'm so happy to have. I picked up a Demon Number One. Um, really nice book. Love the covers. Love the art on it. Just, it's just a super sick book. Um, love the yellows and the reds. It's kind of Sandmanish with the the colors and stuff, but it's okay. Um, just yeah, I, I love it. The castle, the fire, just everything. You just if you take the time to really examine some of Jack Kirby's work. I mean. You really learn to appreciate it. And then I also added this 2001 Space Odyssey. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Machine Man. Uh, really so happy to have this one too. Not really expensive books, but just, you know, stuff that I'm like, I kind of, like I said, the contest lit a fire under my ass to get actually covers that I really, really been wanting to grab. And, you know, I just, I just did it. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go pick these up. Um, Todd McFarlane, of course, another guy that I just really love the art. I've shown these before, of course. Um, some of the Spawn stuff that he does is, for me, was very impactful. Um, and his, his, you know, how he does his comics is very different. Um, and how he does his drawing is very different. I mean, you have this, you know, you have the demon, right? And then you have Todd McFarlane stuff. Um, but both very sick I guess it just shows the two sides of me how I like my art and stuff like that and this is the modern stuff so I've already had this this is spawn number one um, this is spawn number 50 and then this one of course spawn number 8 really like that one uh, play on spider-man number one uh, really love this cover and stuff like that so again like I said it lit a fire under my ass and so I decided to go pick up some Todd McFarlane books. So um, the first one I picked up was this one. It's Amazing Spider-Man number 328. I uh, love this. 
I didn't really like this Hulk when I first saw it. When I first saw this Hulk, I remember as a kid, I just, I didn't understand why he was gray. I didn't understand why he looked like that. Why was his forehead popping up? But um, I remember it was so, such an impactful um, Hulk that, you know, it stayed with me for a while and just never really picked it up. And uh, yeah, so I just started picking it up. So it's Amazing Spider-Man 328. I love this Hulk. Amazing, oh, amazing. Uh, Incredible Hulk. 345. I love how the Incredible is down here. All oh, trashed. Um, love the Hulk. Sign being separated by the Hulk. Um, I love the little details he makes in the creases and the feet and stuff like that. Like, you see that? Like, just so much detail went into it. And it's an incredible cover. I really, really, really like it. I mean, it's just such an intense cover. Um, I also picked up. Incredible Hulk, number 340. Um, just picked this one up as well. Um, you know, I've seen it in a lot of people. They, you know, they show that this is their favorite cover and stuff. And uh, I remember I saw this as a kid, and you know, it, it was pretty sick because at that time I really liked Wolverine. I really liked the X Men. Again, I just didn't pick it up. I, I don't know why because I think I didn't pick it up because I like X Men. I didn't like the really much the Incredible Hulk, so I didn't pick it up for that. But um, so yeah, when I was younger, it, you know, I just liked the covers. I used to just buy covers after covers. I didn't even know anything about Tom McFarlane, Jack Kirby, nothing. But when I started to realize all the books that I started buying, I started to realize that I gravitate towards those two people. And um, this is probably by far my most McFarlane, uh, most favorite McFarlane book that I picked up. So this one is uh, Batman number 423. I don't, I'm not sure if this is McFarlane's first Batman, but man, it's definitely one of his sickest. Um, I, <laughs> I love this cover, man. I can stare at this cover all day, bro. I really love it. So I actually have to thank Big East for lighting that fire under my butt, getting me back to my roots, getting me back to buying what I really like. And um, I'm still doing it. Uh, I'm still doing it. Of course, I have another favorite artist, uh, Neil Adams, and I already picked up two books from that. I'm waiting for it um on ebay and stuff and i just can't wait to get in because i can't wait to add those to my collection and uh yeah, that's pretty much about it man um again thank you everyone thank you all my subscribers much mahalos uh much love to everybody you guys have been super awesome awesome comments awesome environment um thank you for the education as well and um yeah this punisher going forward from now on that's just going to be a reminder of how awesome this community is and how much uh, love this community has. And, you know, we only have, we have this in common, of course, but I'm sure we have a lot of other stuff that we have in common. And just want to say much mahalo to everybody. Okay, shoot. Bye.